Hello and welcome back. Guys, I've got a great little clover food plot back in the back next to a couple of my deer stands. The plot's doing pretty well. The clover's coming good and thick, but I got broadleaf weeds and I got grass moving into it. I'm going to show you what I spray to treat this clover food plot and make it great. There's an alfalfa field next to it so the deer have something else to graze on while this stuff's doing its job. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Check this out. So I found out that the stuff that you buy for most of the hunting stores like Slay and Post that take care of grass and broadleaf weeds are pretty expensive. I also found out that the active ingredients can be purchased at your local farm stores for a lot less money. You gotta buy in quantities, but it's a lot less money and mixing it up is really not that difficult. So for the grass growing in the clover, I've got Clefidem 2EC. This will get rid of the grass. I actually used this last year and it did a fantastic job of killing the grass in the clover without harming the clover. This is the Buterac 24DB. This I got in a two and a half gallon jug. It was pretty expensive, but it's gonna last forever. You see how much I used last year, very little of this stuff. You only use three ounces per gallon of this stuff, so it really goes a long way. I also got some crop oil to mix in with the Clefidem 2EC, which will help it stick to the grass better and do a better job of killing it. So one of the things I had a problem figuring out was how much of this stuff per gallon of water to use. All the instructions and all the stuff you read online talks about ounces per acre, but it doesn't tell you how much to mix per gallon of water. So it took a whole lot of research and reading a whole lot of posts to kind of figure this thing out. And this is what worked good for me. I'm using 0.5 ounces per gallon of the Clefidem 2EC. I'm using three ounces a gallon of the Buterac 24DB or 24DB. And I'm gonna use a half ounce of crop oil per gallon to go with the Clefidem and help it stick to the grass. I'm gonna be mixing this all up in a tank sprayer that I've got rigged up to a golf cart with a spray boom. That's what I have. I don't have an ATV, I have a golf cart. And the spray boom should do a fantastic job of putting these chemicals down. All right, so first we'll get the spray boom locked into place with pins. And this is pretty cool, too, because if you hit something with this boom sticking out like this, it'll actually release and reset. So if you run into a fence post or something, you're not going to hurt it. That's kind of cool. I'll put a link to this boom in the description below, too, if you need one for your ATV or whatever. All right, now let's go ahead and fill the tank up. a 25 gallon tank I'm only going to put about 10 in it and I want to get the sprayer running good before I mix the chemicals in all right we got everything bled down good and it's spraying great let's go ahead and add the chemicals all right we're going to mix the butyrac first if that doesn't take crop oil this is 30 ounces, 3 ounces per gallon, a little over 10 gallons of water in here. Yeah. Find a safe place for this. Now this tank has a really cool mixing feature that allows you to put the water in first and then mix it up using the pump on board. I'll show you. I simply close the spray valve and open the mix valve and turn it on. ventilated cap and I'm gonna let this mix for just a few minutes while that's mixing I'll show you I've actually got the wires to this pump hooked up to a fuse panel I installed in a dash of the golf cart so I can reach the switch from the driver's seat all right it's been mixing about five good minutes now so let's go ahead and spray the plot all right believe it or not this is my clover food plot. I actually just mowed it the other day because the grass was too long to spray. So you shouldn't have to mow your clover plots as long as you keep the weeds and the grass down. If it gets real weedy and grassy, then you're gonna have to go ahead and mow it, cut it real high, give it a few days, maybe a week, and then spray. Let's get to spraying. Make sure the chemical stuff gets out there. We're all up and running.
covers great. The food plot actually only took seven gallons, so now that we're doing the clefidum, I'm only using seven gallons of water, so this is three and a half ounces, 0.5 ounces per gallon of clefidum, and I'm going to add some crop oil to it next. And the crop oil is also 0.5 per gallon, Get that in there. Set my tank up for mixing. We'll let that mix about five minutes. Now let's go on back. Spray this down. Again, the clefidum is for grass, so I'm not going to put this anywhere but the food plot because this will kill every kind of grass you have outside of your food plot, and that's not what I want to do. Probably should have done that April 1st or at least May 1st and not June 1st but it's better than nothing we'll come back in a month and see how this food plot looks it should have recovered fully by then and be grass and weed free all right it's been a couple weeks now let's have a look at this clover and see how that spraying did Wow, this looks fantastic. The clover itself is almost fully recovered from the mowing. And as you can see, all the weeds and grasses pretty much gone. There's a couple little stubborn weeds left, but they look like they're dying. The rest of this place, this food plot looks like a million bucks. I'm sure the deer are happy with it. So hopefully that wind isn't too bad today. You can see how just a little bit of spray and not a lot of labor can make a clover food plot really good for deer. And it's pretty easy. I'll put links to everything in the description below, all the stuff that I can find online for you at least. And uh, feel free to ask me questions. I'll answer them as best I can. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. And that thumbs up like button sure would be nice. We'll see you next time.